Yeah! Just like Superman. How's it going, guys? We got the exoskeleton from DNS YS. They sent that to us a little while back, and we've been having all kinds of fun with it, using it out in the woods in one of our earlier videos, the tiny house video. And today we're gonna make a dedicated video. Does this turn you into Iron Man or Superman, allowing you to leap small buildings in a single bound, or is it large buildings in a single bound? Superman, I, you, why would he even be leaping buildings? He just flies right over them. Able to leap tall buildings without getting a wedgie. So it comes in this little box, zip open box. Inside there is your exoskeleton. That's your battery pack. That's all it takes is that little battery there. Go to the app and see where it's at today. Connected. Boom. It's so fast, the connection. All right. Device is connected. Boom, boom, boom. And it's at 70%. So it's if I, yeah, I haven't lost any power from sitting around, which is really nice. And then it'll give you your day's stats from your, your adventure or your use of it for the time. So let's pop it on. Goes around your leg. Boom. Put on. Click on. Boom. I liked also that I have stuff in my pockets. My pockets are always full of stuff. Got my phone. And it's set up so that these are just far enough down. The stuff in your pockets has never been a problem. And then two clicks and she's on. Personally, I think my favorite is sport and boost. Boost is where you feel the most difference. Like just walking around. What it's doing mostly is it's lifting your leg up. So it really excels in the hiking. It does press them down as well, but in boost, you really feel it the most when you run. Or having something on you and then running. Like, if you ever tried to run with a backpack, it's like you feel it shake and jiggle all around. These being right around your waist, it really, walking along, it really propels you. You can almost fall asleep and just be like, and it just carries you right along. It kind of encourages your step to be a little bit longer of a gait, which is kind of nice. You know, if you feel like you're dragging it all, you're like, ah, oh, I have been at the desk all day long. I need to get those steps in, but I just don't want to do it, right? I don't want to do it. You throw this on and it's just like, woo! It feels like you got a burst of energy, like your legs and the assistance that you're getting. It's funny, whenever I put them, give them to people to put on, they start, then like, they like, they act all weird, but you just walk normal. One of the other things I thought of is like, with this on, and I noticed it was pretty good about, is it doesn't hinder your movement. So, sitting down and taking a break on a hike and sitting on a rock, it's like, it doesn't pinch, the belt doesn't pinch you, None of it uh, is like pulling down your trousers. You know, if you're up, you're down, if you're on your knees, you're doing something, you know, you're like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you're doing. I mean, obviously you're not gonna lay down and take a nap with it on you because that's the first time I feel it as you're like trying to lay on your side, but who's gonna do that anyway? One thing I didn't test with that first time I was using it is, is if it helps your vertical jump. I can do it. I don't know if that has anything to do with this or if that's all me. Does it make you super strong to be able to kick things and break things? Yep, it does. I gotta replace that picnic table. That was already on, on its way out. How about a trampoline? <laughs> I think the trampoline is more your toes. It might help you a little bit. Not really for rope swings. Not re definitely not for swimming. <laughs> Works really good for running. The only other thing I'm wondering now is, 
What about e-biking? Can I double down on the amount of juice that I'm getting out of these pythons here? Now let's find out the true power of these pythons. Let's find out. So we got one of my new e-bikes from Electric. There's not an easy way to test with the e-bike if I'm uh, really being all that assisted outside of like my feels like feel. Going uphill in three with the uh, gear in the hardest gear. 27 on a flat. Woo! I can really get this thing ripping with these on. How about downhill? Feel the breeze coming off of that. 32, 32.8, 33. This is 34. This is the fastest I've ever had this thing going. 35, 36. I couldn't quite get 37. So close. That has to be the fastest I've ever had that thing. This makes me super thirsty. <laughs> Yeehaw. Like it definitely. 10x is it a bit the whole experience I'm recharged with my water and uh and I'm gonna put it in boost you gotta put it, it in boost I, I think you have to do it in one you're racing me on the bike yeah you're gonna ride the bike I thought it was gonna be a foot race oh we're gonna do a foot race that makes way more sense. No, no, I think it's more <laughs> awesome if, I, if I'm if i racing you and you're on the bike. But you only get to put it in one. Okay. So, and it's uphill. You must feel pretty confident if you think you can beat me on a bike. Yeah, so they are going from the telephone pole down there to this telephone pole up here. On your mark, get set, go. So clearly, way faster, <laughs> way faster than an e-bike. We just totally showed how capable that is. <laughs> I was going about uh, nine miles an hour. Yeah, and I still, and I ghosted you. On five, full power, no cheating. Three, two, one, go! Go, Noah! Who won? That was on fi five. And uh, I had it on boost. Honestly, I think it was a tie. I think it was very close. Oh my goodness. I have to say, though, where it accelerates and does the best and uh, shows me the best performance, some of those hills at the lake and on the hikes. And just uh, the sustainability and the the feel it has, and then, oh, going downhill. Something about that going downhill and putting the resistance on, it was like so nice. It felt so good. I felt like I got twice the amount of walk in for that one mile up and then that one mile back. It felt like a good, you know, and my heart rate and stuff. Still said it was two miles, but it seemed like, you know, two miles with a 50 pound pack on or something. I don't know, it was the amount of calories burned. It feels so good that I decided to go out on another hike, which, if you know me and how much I hate hiking, is a pretty big deal. The 900 watt motor offers some powerful assistance on these treks, and the AI algorithm has adapted to the way I walk to make it feel very natural. What's also great is with the two batteries I have, I can easily get up to 25 miles on a single charge. These great views always within reach. All right. Woo, beautiful. Quick mile uphill to look at the ocean what a beautiful day and man I think this thing almost makes me like hiking again <laughs> well, actually I really enjoyed that I always joke about that saying I hate hiking I might have found a reason to go hiking more often now if there only was a lake up here to fish at I would love hiking <laughs> I can't believe the technology to like 
boost yourself, go slower, and give yourself uh, a bit of a workout, or or make it go stronger and and help you climb farther and faster, is even out there. That it's so light, capable, doesn't hinder your movements if you're working, working out, just trying to walk. The larger your leg movements, the more benefit I feel like you get from it. Walking in the boost mode, it does feel like it really helps you propel along. You could burn the miles, probably increase your mileage rate, and uh, make you go further, faster, farther, have more fun with it. And especially somebody who maybe, you know, have sore knees or, or are a bit on the tired side all the time, and you want that extra boost, I could see this being a real aid. For me, I'm gonna add some resistance. There we go, woo, feel that, feel that. Head back down and uh, edit up this video for you guys. So thanks for watching, check them out, linked in the description below. Get yourself an exoskeleton, go further, farther, and have more fun with every walk, with every hike, and get out there and spend some time in the outdoors. See you later, Fowler out. Right, come here, Johnny, you get your professional jumping oh, bean, he's gonna give us our Opinion. You won like st stuff in high school, right? Like senior year, state senior championship year. long jump. So give it a little sprint. A sprint? Yeah, why not? Sprint, Johnny, don't sprint. All right, now is resistance. Now try to walk. Oh, wow. That's like doing stairs on a treadmill. Yeah, isn't it? So it's like you turn it into the, put it in the, I could put it into like going uphill boost so now it's assisting you imagine Whoa, you're hiking goodness gracious there you go so you now you're hiking it's making it easier for you and then you go back downhill does it how's the jump feel like does it feel like does yeah. it feel like it assists you i didn't think so either oh i don't know if that really helped but yeah 